Yo guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with not exactly what I'm going to call a reaction video because that would be pretty crappy to do on somebody's video that was that's about their YouTube channel getting stolen. But I wanted to make a video because this has happened to me as well. If you guys remember about a year and a half ago, my YouTube account name was changed to Tesla. There was a live stream going on with a bunch of bots in the chat. Uh with a cryptocurrency scam going on in the live stream, et cetera, et cetera. And I wanted to explain, one, how it happens, two, kind of go over what A plus start is talking about here, three, how to protect yourself. So what happened with mine is, long story short, I downloaded the incorrect OBS, at least is how it happened to me. You always want to get it either from obsproject.com or their GitHub page are the only two places you want to trust downloads for OBS because there are exploited OBS clients out there, which if you're not running an ad blocker, please do yourself a favor and run an ad blocker on every device you own because that will save you a lot of headaches of like fake Google results and things like that. <coughs> but I downloaded the wrong OBS. It turned into having a Google account login session stealer and then somebody started streaming through my account. Now, let's see what happened to Son of a Glitch here real quick. I'm going to mute myself just so you guys can listen to what he has to say as well. Hi guys, very desperate SOS call right now. I need to speak to anybody from Google. I'm currently, I, I believe I've uh, been hacked. This is me. That sounds about right. Uh, hundred percent sounds about right for what happened to me. So, let's see what else he has to say. Reaching out to Google or YouTube in desperation as my channel was being hacked. The hackers began live streaming a cryptocurrency scheme from my now hijacked channel, and all I could do was watch it happen. Subs so that's not entirely true. There is something you can do about it on your own. And that's where kind of part two of this video kicks into high gear. Basically, when it happened to me, I realized I have multiple devices logged into the same Google account. My media center PC downstairs connected to my TV is logged into this Google account. My main computer up here is logged in. My laptop is logged in. My other laptop is logged in. Uh, multiple phones are all logged in. Uh, I have a Google Pixel that is literally set up just for Google authentication with this YouTube account. Uh, if that phone ever breaks, I think I'm kind of screwed. But it literally just sits in the drawer, and that's the whole point of that Google Pixel is for authentication of this Google account. But what I ended up realizing is I had YouTube Studio installed on my phone. And what I was able to do was open the YouTube app and I could see them streaming from my channel, but I couldn't like see my subscribers or anything. They had privated all my videos, which is kind of funny because any videos that were already private on my channel or unlisted suddenly went public. So it was like everything flip flopped and it was a pain in the butt to go through and figure out what I needed to republic and reprivate. But anyway, that's beside the point. I ended up realizing I can't do anything from my phone. I have YouTube Studio installed on my phone. So I opened up YouTube Studio to quickly see what was going on and see if I could do anything. And now I have YouTube Studio also installed on every single phone that is also logged into with this Google account. And my, uh, my Android emulator has YouTube Studio installed. My laptop's Android emulator has YouTube Studio installed. Like, it's installed everywhere. Basically... With YouTube Studio, it didn't ask for my authentication, which maybe is a security threat, I don't know, or a security problem, I don't know. It kind of helps me in the end. When I opened up my YouTube Studio app, I was able to actually go in, change my account name back. I was able to kick them off stream by not only changing the stream name, but also by just straight up changing my stream key because they also stole my stream key when I had the OBS thing set up. Um, so I was able to kick them off by resetting my stream key and even then on top of that I still made sure to change my password and I made sure to change my icon back I made sure to undo all the damage they did but because YouTube studio was on my phone I was still able to go in and control my channel 
I got very lucky in this instance. If so, let me show you YouTube Studio actually. I believe this app is also on iOS, but as you can see, there is a separate app for YouTube channels called YouTube Studio. You can actually use this to see things like analytics. You can use it to see um, basically anything you can do in your YouTube backend here with YouTube Studio here. You can also do with this app. So, ooh, yay. I want to hit 6,000. Let's push for that. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this video. But anything you can do here, you can also do with this app. And it was very useful because on my computers, I actually couldn't get into YouTube Studio. It kept asking for the authentication, and the authentication would fail on a computer. But on the YouTube Studio app on my phone, it was completely fine. So I was able to go in, kick them off, and do all that stuff. But yeah, definitely understand what he's going through. I just wanted to make a quick video about it. Um, I haven't watched the rest of the video, but you basically get what happened here. Uh, he says he didn't actually have anything he could do. A lot of people don't know about this little workaround where you can use the YouTube Studio app, even if you don't have access on any other devices. So keep that in mind if you have an active YouTube channel. Please install the YouTube Studio app. Make Have it on your phone. Even if you don't need it, just have it ready because that's the best thing you can do for yourself. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed and learn something. Peace out.